My name is Linda Chambers. I am doing a video that's going to show you how to use ARP, Ping, Traceroute, and IPconfig. I am a student at Rockingham Community College and I am in Security Concepts Class 110, Section 40 with Rick Weinecker as my instructor. Please enjoy my video. Hello, my name is Linda. I am doing a video showing you how to use ARP, Ping, Traceroute, and IPconfig. These are utility tools and MS DOS that you can use to troubleshoot and gather information about your network. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. It's a network layer protocol that is used to link the Ethernet, which is the MAC address, to the correct IP address. So basically ARP is just like a roll call for your network. It shows all the devices that are connected to your network. How to use ARP. Double click to open command prompt. Type ARP. When you type ARP it shows you all the options that you have. So let's try the minus A option. So we'll type ARP space minus A. Now, see it says it displays all current ARP entries. So this shows you all the physical addresses that are connected to my internet network. Ping. Ping is a computer network administration utility. It's a way of sending packets across an IP network. And Ping is used, you can use it to test if a certain address is reachable. You can use it to report or measure the round trip time for packets that are sent over the network. And you can also use ping with your IPv4 address to ping yourself so that you can test your computer's network is actually working and that your computer is connected to the internet. We're going to test ping and see how ping works. So we're going to open command prompt. We're going to type ping. If you type in ping, it gives you a list of the options that you can use with the ping utility tool. So let's ping www.google.com to see if this address is reachable. As you can see, there were four packets sent and four packets were received. Zero packets were lost. Therefore, www.google.com is a reachable address from my computer network. Trace route. It's a computer network command utility that is used for measuring the trace route path of packets and the transit times of packets that are sent across an IP network. Trace route will populate a list of all the routers the packet passed through until it reached its destination. Trace route will tell you how long or how much time each hop took to get from router to router. See how trace route works. We'll open command prompt. We'll type trace route. When you type trace route, it just gives you the option options of all the options that you can do with trace route. And then if you type trace route, so we want to trace the route from our router to yahoo.com. Then you just type trace route space www.yahoo.com press enter and then you have to wait because now trace route is tracing the route from my router to yahoo.com's server's router. So let's see how long, how many hops and how long it takes for us to get there. See here we finally made it to the Greensboro triad.rr router. And we made it to yahoo.com. Okay, it took 11 hops. And the trace is complete. IP config is a network administrative utility tool that displays the IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway for all adapters. IP config can be used to renew and release your DHCP configuration. I'm going to show you a video, a little short demo, on IP config. 
So we'll open command prompt and we'll type IP config. Press enter. And this gives you your IPv6 address. It also gives you your IPv4 address. It gives you your subnet mask and your default gateway. And it also lets you know that there are other devices attached to your network, but the media is disconnected on each one of them. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you and have a great day. After watching this video, I hope that you understand how to use ARP, ping, traceroute, and ipconfig to troubleshoot and or gather information about your computer's network at home or at your work or at your school. These utilities can be used for other things that which you need to do.